Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to copy data from on-premise SQL Server. If you are new to our channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to produce more video in better quality. We have already posted two videos related to this concept where we have installed SQL Server in my laptop which is going to be my on-premise and we have installed self-hosted integration runtime which will act as a bridge at the network level. If you haven't watched them, I will be providing the video URL in the description. Please do watch. We have created this SQL Server and we have created the login credentials as well in our video. Let me connect it. And we have created a database and the table as well. So this is my database and we have created this particular table in our last video. So these are the various columns which we have created. I will be providing the table uh, schema in the video description and these are the data I have inserted into my table and this is what we are going to copy into our blob with the help of Azure Data Factory and we have set up this self-hosted integration runtime as well with the help of keys and all so now let me proceed to create a link since we already have established a connection with the self-hosted runtime integration just click on new here click on create linked service in order to create a link to our SQL server just click on this and here search for SQL and this is the one which we want and if you want to change the name of your link you can do here once done you can provide description as well if you want and here you need to make sure you select self-hosted integration runtime which we have created and I need the server name so in order to get a server name just type as select at at server name in your SQL server so you will get the exact server name after executing this just copy it and paste it over here and the database name we need to type it I have provided my database name as cloudtech db so the same I have to provide it over here so even down below if you see it will show what is the database server name and the user name which we have connected so provide the database name over here and then select the authentication type as SQL authentication and provide the username and password you have created in your SQL server I am providing the password which I have provided and then click on test connection yeah that's it just click on create we have successfully established a connection with our SQL server SQL is my source and my destination is blob so let me show my blob as well I have created a container named as student data so here only we are going to copy the files so this is our destination now let us establish a connection to our blob in order to create a link just click on new and then search for blob so the first one select and then continue let me rename the link and if you wish to provide description you can provide here you can select auto resolve runtime integration since we are connecting azure environment and here we have already seen this SAS URI system assigned user assigned in separate videos I'll be providing the URL for those videos in the video description and here in the drop down select our storage account you can test the connection at the storage account level or to the container level by changing this option let's say for example if your SAS token has only access to the particular container you need to test out the connection at the container level instead of the storage account level so select to the file path and then provide the container in order to test out the connection as of now I'm going with to the linked service and let me create it and that's it we have created the connection to our source and destination and we have published it now it's time to create data set in order to create a data set just click on this author icon and here click on the three dot and select new data set and search for SQL 
so now we need to create data set for our sql server table so select it and here provide the name to the data set and then in the drop down select the linked service which you have created for the sql server just select on this and then the table is loading so whatever the tables it is available in the server it will load over here yeah it got loaded there is only one table so i have selected it and if you wish to pro hard code that particular table name you can do so from here and if you want to import the schema of that particular table you need to select from here for our scenario i need to import the schema as well so i'm just importing from the connection and let me minimize this properties you can preview the values in that table by clicking on preview data it will show some of the data which is available in the particular table so these are the value we have in our table we are able to see successfully now it's time to create a data set for our blob as well so search for blob and select the blob storage and click on continue and since i want my output data to be saved as csv in my blob i am selecting as csv and let me provide a name to the data set and from the linked service drop down select the link which we have created for the blob and then in the file path we need to browse our container so just click on this icon in order to browse it and select the container so this is our output container and let me provide the file name here itself since there is no file exist it will create a new file so i'm going to provide a file name I'm going to specify the format of the file name as well as .csv and then I want the column names to be available in the first row of the file so I'm just selecting it so that file name will be available so see these are the various column which is available and I want this column name to be available in my csv file as well so I'm just checking this and then select the schema as none because we didn't have the file itself so there won't be any schema just click on none and click on ok and click on publish in order to save the changes and now let us proceed to create a new pipeline just click on this and click on new pipeline and here i need copy activity so let me search copy over here and let me drag and drop and let me rename the pipeline name as well so here you can rename your pipeline and just minimize this and in the copy activity you have other options like timeout so in case if it is running beyond that particular time you can make it fail let me switch to source tab source is sql so select that particular one and here you have option to select the table or store procedure but I want to get the data from a particular table only so I have selected table in case if you want to add an additional column apart from what is available in the source you can add columns from here and in the sync select the blob so this is our destination so sync means destination select this and that's it on this tab proceed to mapping and click on import schema this will import the whatever that columns which is available in your source which is SQL table so it will import whatever you see on the left side is from the table and on the right side it will automatically create columns based upon your source so in case if you want to change the column name you can edit it over here in case if you want to delete it you can delete it so all this kind of mapping related activity you can do it over here let me run this activity it will take some time for completion so let me navigate to blob this is currently empty as of now once it is completed it will create a file in the blob let me refresh the status the pipeline execution got completed and if you just click on this particular icon you will see how many rows it got copied from where to where so all this kind of information will be available how many bytes consumed so everything you can see it over here from sql to blob just close this let me navigate to blob in order to validate the changes let me refresh this as well yeah so this is the file it got automatically generated to see the file content either you can download or click on edit yeah now we are able to see whatever the data we got from the table everything is copied over here and this is the header part 
and that's it in next video we are going to see how to copy a file from on premise file store thank you for watching this video follow me on linkedin to stay connected and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you bye bye